Hello everybody. My name is Julian Hansen and I am working as a technical manager for autonomy and AI at Atlas Electronic and ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems in Germany. Together, we are developing the future of unmanned maritime systems in the defense sector. Currently, we are organizing an event for startups together with the DOG in Israel in order to find innovators out of the field communication, software and AI, energy and human-machine interface. The winning startup will be invited to our headquarters in Germany for a pilot project evaluation. Human-machine interface is an autonomy. It seems to be a contradiction. Why an autonomous system does need a user interface? The HMI allows a human to interact with an autonomous system to change a mission, to take over control, or to support the autonomous system in the case of a decision conflict. One of the challenges is to provide a user interface that allows us to understand what the autonomous system is doing at all times and what are our options to control the mission. Therefore, several technologies assist. Augmented and virtual reality, cognitive enhanced decision support and 3D maps, only to name a few. The HMI is the base for the teaming of humans and machines and one of the most important factors for the acceptance and application of autonomous systems. Machine learning and artificial intelligence are becoming major challenges in a industry setting. Especially for fully autonomous naval systems, computers need to navigate on their own while avoiding their collision. Systems need to include any changes in their environmental conditions to provide an optimized pre planning or even evaluated abortion of the mission. Although the automated nuance system is already becoming state of the art, a fully automated recovery system is still a huge challenge. One system solving both tasks would be their ultimate goal. For me, energy on autonomous systems is one of the most crucial points. You want to have the systems as long as possible performing their missions autonomous with sensor systems that are not limiting to only spend a little bit of energy. So if you could, you would take unlimited energy with you, but this would lead to unlimited size of your vehicles. So if you have a clever idea to store more energy without increasing the vehicle size, perhaps also in recharging those systems via energy harvesting or if you have a very clever idea in a very fast and simple way to recharge those systems during their missions without plugging complex cables into them or taking them out of the water by complex launch and recovery systems. So in an easy way recharge and then just continue with the mission. autonomous vehicles in multiple domains as for example underwater, surface, air or even space need to be coordinated and need to communicate with each other. And this means the future communication system has a very high demand regarding large data rates and cybersecurity. And furthermore, alternatives to the current communication ways become more and more interesting in the maritime environment. So if you are a strong innovator and you would like to work on the naval technologies of tomorrow, get some more information and register on thedoginnovation.com/autonomous.